So hello and welcome back. Now, if you're wondering where I've been, I've been enjoying the nice hot weather. Uh, I've had a weekend away in Lincoln. So mum kept running out of coolant. It kept going about here. And I couldn't work out why. I thought, oh no, don't tell me we've got a serious problem. Because this is a low mileage car. This car's only done probably, I think it's only done about 50,000 miles since 2014. It's not, it's not done a lot really, considering it's an Audi. You know, somebody's been around the clock two or three times. But uh, look, I noticed this. If you look there, Mum's topped this up because she had to go and do a short trip in it, and I'd, we we didn't want to risk it. Yeah. Uh, so as you can see, there's a crack there, and it's running down. So when it gets really hot, it squirts out. Um. So I've been on eBay and got myself another one. I've just washed this, by the way. So that's what I've got there. So we've got a second-hand one. Same part number, everything, yeah, but I've just washed it because it was a bit grubby, so I thought, well, we've got to wash it before we start. So, uh, to change this, we're going to have to disconnect this pipe, this pipe, the big pipe at the bottom, and there's an electrical one back there. These two bolts, and this rubber grommet that goes into the chassis rail. See it? So, as you can see, it's gone a bit dirty. This bonnet does want cleaning under here, by the way. Uh, I haven't done this for quite a while. It does really want to do it. Um, so, yeah. So, what we're going to do next is remove the header tank. All right. So, first off, I'm going to disconnect these. Now, to disconnect these, let me show you. So, to remove these, you pull this little bit up here, like that. And you just give it a wiggle. Oh, there you go. Nice and easy. So the bottom one is actually the same principle. You put up the little pin. Um, so what I'm gonna do now is I've actually disconnected this bit here, this little clamp. So when I pull the pipe off here, I'm gonna stand it upwards to stop all the water running out of the car. Um, in theory. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, let's uh, see how this goes. So there we go, it has worked in theory. Um, <laughs> So there's the pipe. Uh, so I have got more coolant for here. By the way, you need G12. All right, so that's what I've got there. I've got half a bottle there. Look at that. That'll be enough for what I need it for. Um, so let's get it unbolted. Oh. literally uh, just pull it upwards <laughs> not just pop it so to remove this you press that down give it a bit of a wiggle I've got mum here holding the top half of this I'm doing this one-handed Mum, this is not going well this is a mother-son activity oh there we go that was easy wasn't it um, put that there so there we go we've got the header tank off oh dear it's not very clean is it let's have a look at this crack Oh, look at that. How on earth has that happened in the first place? Because I mean, it's had the proper amount of coolant in it and everything. No idea. Bit of a weird one, look at that. Proper little crack. I have no idea how that's coming in because this car has had a coolant change done by Aldi. So, and I mean, it was, it was actually full how it should be. So I don't know how this has even happened unless it's, I don't know. I've never seen one just crack like that for no reason. I mean, if you don't have enough coolant in it, yes, or what have you, but that's just a bit weird. It's, it's not even on the seam of the plastic. Don't know. But anyway, we've got a new one anyway, so we're all right. So I have just cleaned these uh, electrical terminals as well. Might just give it another clean, actually, at the moment. Uh, just to be sure. Where have I put it? Oh, here it is. Because it's been leaking down here. Now, I reckon this has been leaking a long time, you know. But it, it's got worse, obviously. Look, everything's gone green in there. It's run down. And it must have like sweated or something and it's made it all go green. Right, I have a question for everyone on the internet right now, because I have no idea. Right, in this water header tank, there's like, there's like a little bag in there. I'm, on the new ones, the same. Well, the second hand new one, whatever you want. There's like a little bag in there, look. What is that? If anyone knows, I'm quite interested. Leave a comment. But I've no idea there's a bag in there and you can't get it in or out. So, who knows? 
So I've cleaned that with some electrical cleaner and dried it all out. Um, so that's much better. So now we're going to put it back together again. So this is, uh, this is the fun bit. So here we go. Right. I'm not going to be able to video all of this, I don't think. Basically, that's going to go in there like that. So now with this electrical plug, you can't actually get this wrong, as you can see. Um, if you get this wrong, I have. Yeah, I don't really think you should touch cars. I don't think you should touch many things, to be fair. <laughs> There's only one way this will fit on. All right, so uh, yeah. So let me uh, just pop that on there. There me. Oh, oh, clicked in. Make sure it clicks in, yeah? Like that. See? Now, before you push it down and push this rubber grommet into the car, it might be easier to put that pipe on first. Now, I'm not going to be able to show you this, unfortunately, because uh, it's going to make a mess if you don't watch it. So basically, I'm just going to pop that pipe on the bottom, then push it down, okay? So there we go. That's all popped back on. Put this pipe back in. So over this crude videoing here um basically what's oh, wait, what's going on here basically what's happened is i've been up since uh four o'clock this morning and i went into work and i got one of those nice lorry driving jobs where you don't actually have to do, i'll be honest with you you don't do too much you just drive somewhere swap a trailer and come back lovely job so i've got back early and then this had turned up so i thought we'd fix it now Let's put these pipes back on. These are a bit awkward. You have to make sure you press them right back and then clip it because the man in Audi man, when you had this car repaired didn't do that and then the pipe come off and all the water come out. Mm. Right, so now we're ready to put some uh, coolant in. Look at that. So we've got this one, the G12. Yeah. Let's try not to spill it everywhere and make a complete mess of it all. It's been getting topped up with water recently, so we put a little bit more in it, it'd be alright. Rather well, have more than not enough, wouldn't you? Well, now we've got to top up with a bit of water. Oh, look at that. We knew we'd make a mess, didn't we? Guaranteed, wasn't it? Oh no. So, uh, there we go. There we go. It's just over the max, but we lost a little bit, so as it circles around the car and gets the air out, it'll level out really. So, this is the crack. Just there. And there was a little crack appearing there as well. And further down, in certain lights, I don't know if you can see better in that light, I don't know. There's another crack appearing there. Can you see it just there? There. And this is actually cracked, so, yeah. Not very good, but there you go. So Mum's just took it for a test drive, just to get the air out. We didn't lose a lot of water, really. It was just what out was out of the header tank. So, um, not too bad. So Mum's just got back, just heard her, so we're going to have a look. So there we go. Now, that was a pretty easy job to be honest with you. Um, you know, sometimes when you go to do a, a, a job on a German car, you think, oh no. <laughs> uh, let's be honest, but uh, no, it's good. Perfect maximum. So I've said to mum, just check it before you go out and it, just check in case it alters when it's cooled down. Um, because obviously, We've had the pipe off, though we didn't really lose anything, but you know, just in case it drops a little bit. And if not, before you next go in, just top it up. But yeah, that's that job done. Very happy with that. So, thank you for watching. Hello to all the new subscribers, and I'll see you all very soon with another video.